Hello, how are you? Hello. I'm Rishi. Hello. We'll get some tea in a minute. And How was your five-point plan going? Brutally honest. How many of you have picked up that I've got these five priorities that I'm trying to focus on? No, I haven't. No? Yeah, what do you think they should be if someone well, was going to have some priorities? What I think they should be is I think they should be obviously sorting out the NHS, yep. um, immigration and the quantity of illegal immigrants coming yep. into the country. There's a big other one. What is, what is probably the biggest the issue? The economy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm happy to hear that, actually, because that tells me at least I'm broadly on the right track. When I came in, I and mean, I think you guys know the circumstances in which I got the job weren't easy. The country's facing some real challenges. And I thought, look, there were five very clear things that the country wanted me to focus on. They were to halve inflation, grow the economy, reduce debt, cut waiting lists, and to stop the boats. You can halve the inflation. What does that mean? I don't know. Halving inflation's akin to climbing Everest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get there. The, the reality is, it, it's tougher. It's tougher than I would like. Right, we're making progress for sure, but not as fast as I would like. Tell me what's on your mind about the NHS. What, what people are most concerned about is just being able to get a GP appointment. Yeah, which is it, what? It just feels, yeah. feels impossible. Um, you know, you're sitting in call queues. I think, you know, last time I rang up, I was like, number 70. I've got to wait on the phone for Matt yeah, just to get through. With having a disabled son, I've been into the hospital. Yeah. You, you get a genuine feel for there is quite a lot of wastage within the NHS. That's a great point, right? Like, I come from an NHS family. My, my dad was a GP all his life. My mum ran our local pharmacy in Southampton, where I grew up, uh, and I worked for her. So all my life growing up, I saw how important the NHS is to people's lives. So part of my job is to just run it more efficiently. Technically, I'm paying for a Royal Navy within my taxis. I can never understand why we don't have the Royal Navy parked in the middle of the English Channel to stop the boats coming across. We have exploited, criminal exploitation by the gangs, and then we have a huge financial burden that goes on and on and on. I totally agree with you. And yeah. I, I the situation is completely ridiculous, it's unfair, it's unsustainable, and we need to stop it. But I'll tell you this one fact. This year, for the first time ever, the number of people crossing has come down. I thought we had a deal with France, but it doesn't seem as if they're sticking to their side of the deal. They are doing more of that, so they're doing more of that than they've ever done before. The problem is, the over generally, the numbers coming into Europe have just gone up massively. And actually, we're the one place in Europe where the numbers, as I said, are lower this year than last year. The rest of Europe, more migrants. Now, well, that's not what the news tells you. Uh, no, I know, it's not what the, news tells, not what the news tells you. Um, last year, about a third of illegal migrants were from Albania. The number of people coming from Albania dropped this year by over 90%. Wow. Right? You've hit the nail on the head with the right priorities. And it's about giving it enough time. We've already started seeing inflation come down. Yeah. And I think it's important that we stick to those and stick to the plan and see it through. I'm not going to lie, I think you've got quite a bit of work to do. I want your life to just be easier. That means I have to make some difficult decisions, but those are the right decisions for everyone in the long term. And that's the type of person I want to be, it's the type of leader I want to be. I want to make the right long-term decisions for the country, even if they're difficult in the short term, even if they're controversial. It's never really in typical politicians' interests to make a decision like that that benefits the country in the long term, That doesn't help them in the short term. And that's a bit of our political system works like that, I've realised. And I want to try and do something different. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that's, that's right. But I think to Deborah's point, and I appreciate you saying that, yeah, we've got it then. That's why I've got, you've got